Hey everyone, this is Ian with Tara again, um, doing a second video here about ChatGPT, the chatbot developed by OpenAI. That's a really incredible potential resource for educators everywhere, I'm looking to speed up a lot of their prep time and also just get some new ideas. But one of the issues we raised in the last video, and I clear my screen out here, is okay, students are definitely using this. And as an example, students can use this too, it's free. Uh, it's open source, and so uh, in the sense that a student can sign on, create an account, and put in all of their entries for free. So, for instance, a challenge you might run into as a teacher is if you have a, your students have an essay, a take-home essay, and let's say it's about the causes of the American Revolution, which is the example we used from, from the last video. So, what a student can do um, is they can literally type in, and I already have a, a little query here. So I'm going to type in, write me a five paragraph essay that discusses the primary cause of the American Revolution. Now I'm going to put this in. The point of this video is to show you how uh, to use a tool that the same group of folks from OpenAI created to help you determine if essays are used, are were written using ChatGPT or, and, and or artificial intelligence, or if they're actually genuinely human. And so first let's produce a response to this essay that we know is produced by ChatGPT. So we, you know, we're putting it right in here. So we'll say, write me a five paragraph essay, to discuss the primary cause of the American Revolution. It's going to spit out a response. And while it's doing that, you'll see that I've opened the GPT-2 output detector demo. So this is a demo of a model. It's a similar language learning model that simply tells you, you'll paste in the text and it'll give you a probability of how likely it is that the text itself is either fake, meaning it was generated by AI and or chat GPT, um, or if it's actually real and it's probably, probably done by a human. Now I will say this has a lot to do with probabilities. This is not necessarily 1000% accurate, just like chat GPT is 1000% accurate. However, as you'll notice, if it's pretty one-sided, uh, in terms of probabilities, it's, it may be a safe assumption. So here's the response that the uh, chat GPT wrote for my, my question of a five paragraph essay, it discusses the primary cause of the American Revolution. You can see it's very much a, a real response. It's got all kinds of things in it, uh, facts and, and references and whatnot. One thing it doesn't have, which is maybe another dead giveaway, it does not cite any sources. It's a big um, flaw in the model, at least in the use case of someone trying to write a paper with it, which obviously, you know, we potentially hope they, they don't do, um, at least without citing references. All right, so I'm over here in the output detector. I'm just gonna paste it in. You see it's predicting, it's saying prediction based on 361 tokens. We're gonna leave that for now. It's a more complicated explanation, but you can see that it says it's 99.9, .9 7% chance that this response is fake. So there you have it. It's pretty good at detecting fake responses. And this is where, you know, you might be using turnitin.com, but turnitin.com only works on if the text itself is already online somewhere and it matches uh, word for word. Whereas this is talking about who actually generated that text. The chat GPT, uh, responses are not carbon copies from, you know, somebody else's essay. They are actual uh, produced language models. Uh, and uh, so turnin.com wouldn't be able to detect that this is um, not an authentic response from the student. However, if you use this simple tool, um, and I, I think there are many of these out there, uh, but a tool like this can, can give you that, that assurance that what you're seeing is, is authentic um, or most likely authentic.